Hi, what you see on your screen right now, this is a pretty typical soundbar and a pretty straightforward flat screen television. From time to time, viewers will post questions in our other videos and they'll ask us how to make the HDMI arc connection between the television and the soundbar work. In other words, they connect the two, but they never hear sound out of the soundbar. Welcome to our channel, all about home electronics. In this video, we're going to show you the specific steps that you're required to take in the menu settings of your television and your soundbar so that when you plug a device into the back of the TV, that sound travels down and plays out of your soundbar using the HDMI ARC connection ports. And we're going to start right after this. To begin, we turn the TV around so that you can see the backside connections on the TV as well as the soundbar. The first, most important part for understanding how to make HDMI ARC work is that both your television and your soundbar have to have available working HDMI ARC ports. The TV has to have an HDMI ARC port that works and is available, your soundbar also has to have an available working HDMI ARC port. Now we'll be using an ultra high speed HDMI cable to connect the ARC port on the back of our soundbar to the ARC port on the back of our TV. Why do we mention ultra high speed HDMI cable? Well Maybe it's not necessary to make the HDMI ARC feature work in your configuration, but some viewers may want to take advantage of all of the features available when they're using an ultra high speed rated HDMI cable. With the proper ARC connections made, now we're looking at the front of the TV and soundbar. It's time to look at the settings. First, we're going to set up the TV. We need the remote control that comes with the television, Locate the menu button and press it. Chances are good the options in your menu of your TV don't match our example TV. Regardless, what we're going to look for is either ARC or CEC. In the case of our example TV, we know we need to scroll down to System, press OK, and here we see CEC listed. We want to select that. We zoomed into the CEC options and we see here ours are disabled. We want to go ahead and enable it, but in our case we have two additional options. Using the TV remote we simply scroll to the right and it gives us the option to set up ARC only. Now you can use that option or in our case what we're going to do is we're simply going to enable all the features of CEC. By fully enabling CEC, like we're showing in our example television, there could be a couple of benefits you'll enjoy. One, when you turn your television on, your soundbar automatically powers on. When you turn your TV off, your soundbar automatically powers off. As well, your TV remote control volume button might control the actual volume of your soundbar itself this being one of the benefits of using the HDMI ARC connection. Now you'll notice down here lower on the menu, while it's not always necessary, if the option is available, you'll want to do a device discovery. And simply what that means is that your television is going to send a signal down to your soundbar and it's going to discover it. In our case, we're using a Yamaha YAS706 soundbar subwoofer system. Now there's one other thing that we need to adjust. So using the TV remote, we're going to back out of this item and we're going to look for, in our example television, audio and select it. Now you'll notice in our example it says speakers on. That means the speakers inside the TV are turned on. 
chances are pretty good if you're hooking up a sound bar, you only want that sound to come out of the sound bar speaker itself. So in our case, we're going to turn it off. Now we're taking a look at the settings in our sound bar. Naturally, we want to turn the power to the sound bar on. Next, if you can see this on your video screen, the input on the sound bar is set to the wrong input. We need to set it to TV because the ARC port on the back of our example sound bar is TV. So we locate the input button and toggle over to TV. Okay, now that we have our TV properly configured and our soundbar properly configured, there's one more thing we want to clarify before we can call this a wrap on this video, how to set up and make HDMI ARC work. Again, we're looking at the back of the TV, and this is the whole gist of this particular video. You'll notice there are still two open ports, HDMI ports, on the back of our example TV. We can plug any device we want to in either of those ports, and in this case, we're plugging in the Google Chromecast. We plug the Google Chromecast into HDMI port number three. We could have very easily plugged it into port number two. It really doesn't necessarily matter. Any content that we play through the Google Chromecast will come out audio on the soundbar. And additionally, we could plug in another device, satellite box, uh, cable TV box, Roku, TiVo, Apple TV, other streaming boxes into this other available port right here. This concludes this video on how to set up and make HDMI ARC work. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you like this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.